What's up everybody? It's been uh, pretty chaotic the last few weeks. Um, been trying to get everything up and running with uh, the storefront, get the injector cleaner all uh, ready to go, and uh, obviously try to keep racing and uh, making videos for you guys. So uh, we're going to continue with uh, make, maybe making this a weekly thing uh, with how-to videos. So in one of my previous ones I went about how to wire uh, relay. Um, I get a lot of electrical questions from people, so that's what I'm going to focus on at least in the first few videos. Um, what we're going to go about today is these uh, connectors for uh, relays, or relay socket. Um, in the event that you have one of these that needs to be reworked, repinned, or like in this case there's a short wire, um, it's pretty easy to depin these. Uh, we'll go about that. I'll show you what the raw material looks like and uh, we'll do it real quick. All right, so first thing you gotta do, if you got a relay in one of these sockets, um, is pull the relay out. Um, these can have brackets on them, they can have all sorts of stuff, but they just simply wiggle and come out. Um, you have spade connectors here, and then there's gonna be female connectors on this side. Um, in order to remove these pins, um, you gotta kinda understand how they work. So here's some, uh, some raw, I guess, unterminated pins, or one of them actually is terminated. but. You can see there's a double crimp. Um, on the one side, you have the insulation, so that's gonna be this guy here. Uh, basically, that's a strain relief that's gonna bite into the insulation to prevent it from pulling back. The second portion, which you can see right here, that's gonna be for the actual uh, crimp itself, so that's what's gonna be pushing on the wire. Um, if you look at the back of this pin, though, you'll see that there is a little raised tab that's actually the locking tab. That's what's gonna keep it in place there. So um, in order to remove it, uh, I'll show you a couple different methods. All you really need is something that's gonna be small uh, that could be pushed in. So if you look at the front here, um, you'll notice that there's the terminals. So again, if you're looking at this from this side, it's gonna be like that. Um, you need something that's gonna fit in this slot here. So like this black wire, if we wanted to repair it, uh, or replace it or even remove it um, It's pretty easy. So you'll see this slot. You're gonna take your piece. So in this example We're using a thumbtack once you press it in It's gonna basically get in between that locking tab and the back. So now This should just pull right out just like that um, You'll notice sometimes when you pull them out say you make your repair or whatever you want to do when you put it back in Again, locking tab needs to go into that slot area. So if you push it back, sometimes they'll be uh, they'll happy and they'll stay in. But if you notice, like in this case, after removing it, it comes right out. So in the event that that happens, you gotta take a screwdriver, or again, something small, and bend that tab back up. So if you look here, you can see that tab is now back out. So, you know, again, there's the notch on the uh, connector, and you're gonna have the tab in there. And then from the back, it just presses in and locks. Now we're secure. Um, you could do this with a screwdriver if you have one small enough. Um, Thumbtack in this case. I've seen people use hair, hair pins. Um, all the same concept. So you just gotta be careful, um, you know, when you push them in. Basically, you insert from the front, and then you pull out from the back. Um, very easy. So a lot of these, if you buy these uh, pre-terminated um, relay holders, they'll have five wires. A lot of people only do four wires. So um, you know, if you're trying to clean up the wiring, don't just chop it off. It's a lot easier just to pull it out. Um, you don't need any special tools. You know, I'm gonna go through right here, I'll pull them all out. Um, you can see how simple it is, you know, and these are these are locked in so there's no camera tricks or Editing or anything like that. So again, uh, just trying to bring some little quick tips for people um, Everybody always asks me to do wiring um, As much as I love doing it. I'm not a big fan of doing it on other people's cars unless it's um, You know something that I've worked on in the past just because you never really know what you're getting into but um, my word of advice to others is the better you get at it, the better you can troubleshoot things, and in the end, um, you, know, you can save yourself some time and some money. 
So this is the quick tip for the day. Uh, we're gonna try to do one of these each week. So I appreciate you watching. And uh, if you have any questions, make sure to comment. If you wanna see more, make sure to subscribe. And again, if you're not following uh, our Facebook page now, make sure you, you get on that. Thanks.